Hey guys, what is up? It is Laura from Laura Marie Plans and today I'm back with another weekly plan with me. This week I am planning April 11th through the 17th in my Aura Style A5 Wide Planner using the Caress Press 2022 inserts and this week I am using the kit called Let's Party from Caress Press as well as the Celebrate Foil add-on. I think I incorporated this last minute. I'm pretty sure it's been a little bit since I did this base. Um, it was not in my original April 2022 kit lineup, but I pulled it in. I what? Yes, I was going to use silver. I realized I have used silver the past like two weeks at least. Yeah, the past two weeks. Um, it hasn't been full silver. It's been mixed metal, but I still was like, Mm, not feeling it. So I pulled in this gold celebrate foil kit from Caress Press as well as other rose gold from Scribble Prince Co. and Caress Press. I kind of used two foil bundles here, but I mainly use that celebrate one. I, spoiler alert, love how this turned out. I don't think it does its justice on the camera, especially on this video. If anything, check out my planner Instagram at Laura Marie Plans for up close pictures of the spread um but I also storied I'd made a reel on it with like the Bridgerton music which I was obsessed with um but I definitely don't think on this on my phone because I use my phone to film but I also use that to post pictures I just don't think it did its justice the way it was lit and how it was presented at the end of the video so definitely check out other pictures because I am obsessed with this spread so basically, if you all didn't know, I am getting married next month. And this weekend was my bridal shower, April 16th. Um, that was the day we chose like over a year ago. Um, so it's been that day since. And it was um, on this Saturday. It was so fun. This kit was literally the vibes of my shower to a T. Very pink, very rose gold, like the balloon garlands. Y'all will hear me in my talk through my balloon garland. I have seen everyone and their mother have a balloon garland recently, and I just like haven't had a reason to celebrate anything. So I've been wanting a balloon garland in my life, and without even having to ask, my bridesmaids delivered, and they had a balloon garland. I think I told my one bridesmaid I wanted one, but... I don't know. Whatever. I was so happy there was a balloon garland. I love the bottom wash because of it. But yeah, this kit was totally my bridal shower vibes. I didn't for my wedding like want to do rose gold and all those pinks and stuff because like I'm marrying Jake and it's I don't want it to be a very girly wedding. Um, I want him to feel incorporated as well. I mean, it'd be different if he loved pink and rose gold and stuff, but he doesn't. So I did it for my bridal shower and it was amazing. Um, I put the fashion girl with the white dress on the bridal shower day because I thought that would look really cute. I obviously wore a white dress at my bridal shower. But yeah, all in all, such a great day. Easter was also the next day, but I didn't really do much, um, which is why I didn't use an Easter kit. Obviously, my bridal shower takes precedence for me personally. But yeah, I'm just so freaking excited. It's crazy that like everything is done now, it feels like. And I'm just like supposed to go get married in a few weeks here. Um, So yeah, those plan with these will be really exciting. And so will those spreads. I'm pretty sure I'm doing like pretty much three out of the four weeks in May, I'm going to do a wedding kit. So be prepared. You only get married once. You have to go all out. Also, these nails I have on um, were for my bridal shower. So I hope you enjoy because they were so painful to plan with, as you guys probably saw in my last plan with me. But yeah, my bridal shower was amazing. Um, all my bridesmaids except one were there. My one friend is in Taiwan and like with quarantine and stuff, it like was not worth it for her to come for a three hour event, obviously. Um, she is coming to my wedding and all that fun stuff, but everyone else was there. My sister made an amazing almond strawberry cake from scratch and it was gluten free. I don't like gluten free, but you couldn't tell. Um, all my girls like went all out. We played games. We opened gifts. We took lots of pictures. It was really fun. I was at my parents' house, um, because of like COVID. So it could be outside. 
um and just like other reasons uh it was just like easier to at the time than finding a venue but yeah it was a really really great time i can't believe i am now showered um i already wrote out all my thank you notes and all that stuff so i'm just pretty much getting prepared to go get married now y'all um but yeah if any of you guys are already married and you have like any tips i should know before my wedding day or like you know any I don't know any advice you'd have before my wedding day to like maybe calm my nerves um uh, whatever it is let me know down below I'd love to hear um but otherwise <laughs> I'm very excited to get married I'm obviously going to be a nervous wreck the day of but it is what it is and I'm so excited this kit came out I feel like bridal shower kits were not really a thing till this year like I feel like this year there's so much more different variety of art which I love like a lot of the kits previous years it was kind of like getting repetitive the themes the colors all that um not to say this pink isn't very repetitive but your girl loves pink so I'm here for it personally um but I just feel like like there's just so much more variety in kits I know scribble prints co's um, January 2022 mystery which I also have had a bridal shower element too which was really cute but I am planning on using that for my birthday this year um sneaky peeky but yeah so I'm just excited that there's more types of kits I also saw like a bachelorette art released after my bachelorette party so that was cute um yeah so there's just been a lot more fun art so it's just like really exciting to market in your planner I did use these um girly quote these love quotes and these party quotes that were in rose gold that my bestie sage sent me in the mail for my birthday last year i'll link her down below um she sent me those so thank you sage if you're watching this um but yeah i'm just super super excited for this spread i hope you all enjoyed i wanted to make sure i talked through it this time because it was an exciting week and yeah i hope you guys are having a wonderful week um, but yeah, I'm just putting, oh, I just, I love this celebrate kit from Cross Press. I need to buy more. Honestly, it looks so cute with this kit. I didn't use all the elements, but I used a majority and I love it. Okay. Handing off to talk through Laura now. Bye hey guys it is talk through Laura and I'm here for the day by day of my bridal shower spread, which I'm so excited about. I will preface this by I'm not feeling the best right now. It is only Tuesday. So I do have like quite a bit of time. To film this not that you guys know my filming schedule but i'm not feeling the best um it's also like daytime and ollie's very much awake and waiting anticipatingly to go to the dog park so hopefully he doesn't make sounds but if he does you know why okay i'm gonna start on the sidebar just because or i'm gonna start on the day by day just because the sidebar honestly overwhelms me um so let's go ahead and get started. This is always a challenge for me because uh, Crest Press Kits, well now they're reformatted, but before they, well right now, they don't have all the stickers I need. I'm also still with these annoying long nails, which my last video was so long because of it. I also did not grab any of my supplies. So let me grab that. Oh, okay. Pen. Tweezers are the main thing I need. Ollie's already staring at me. So this is gonna be fun. Um. Okay, so I have this, I don't know why I'm already putting these down, but this bed icon is from Scribble Prince Co. And then I have a sleep in script from Carly Plans. Um, I didn't do like intentionally mix metal like I do sometimes, but I did definitely try to. Um, Ollie, please don't bark right now. Like, I literally just let this dog out like two hours ago, but he has this idea in his head that now every day he goes out, which it's like two hours before he goes out, so he's wrong. Um, what was I saying? I don't know what I was saying before that. Oh, this isn't cut right. Okay, let's use the next one. 
Um, but yeah, I still have these uber long nails because my bridal shower was literally like a few days ago. Um, so I apologize. But hopefully this plan with you goes fine. So I'm not even talking about my plans. Um oh, what I was saying was I didn't intentionally do mixed metal. But I, like, tried to, but, like, I, I didn't do the, like, actual math of it all, which I couldn't even explain to y'all when I do the math of it. But I try and rotate the colors with the icons and all that stuff. I also just did rose from Scribble Prince Co. and Crass Press and then, like, gold from pretty much the same shots, if I'm being honest. Um, so I did have a massive cleaning day this day. I took this day off. Um, I did not work very much this week at all. Um, well, I did, but not, like, in home, I guess, is what I should say. Um, so, yeah, I did a cleaning day, and then I took Oliver to the dog park. So, I need, I need, like, some walking stickers for that we can use one of these from paper and milk super cute I'm gonna use my tweezers as much as possible because we learned from the last plan with me these long nails are not my friend okay and then I have a dog park script in gold from adorably Amy designs And then I did FaceTime one of my bestie pals, um, which I just have the phone for, but I'll just write in her name. And she wanted to, with Holly, um, talk about one of the games she was running at the bridal shower. So we like went over her answers and we just caught up and stuff too. Um, I then got Uber Eats for dinner. I don't know what I got, but I got Uber Eats. So we'll mark that. These colors are all like pink. So I don't know, but this was very much my bridal shower vibe. Super pink. Super, I don't know what Ollie is doing. He is just being a bad dog because he wants my attention. Um, super balloony, all that stuff. It was, it was a really fun time. Um, okay, for, oh wait, there's not like, maybe, I think I could fit two labels actually. Um, so let's just do this for planning time. And then I did do some editing. So I'll mark it with this color. I'm sorry if you can hear Ollie. He's literally just rummaging through our junk in here because this is what he does when he wants attention. It's great. And then um, I did watch the ultimatum, which I watched like this whole week. That show is messy. I finished it now. Very, very messy. Ollie, just chill. He's about to bark. Okay, so I have this takeout bag from Scribble Prince Co. And an Uber Eats script, which I did pull this because it did look more pinky from Adorably Amy Design. So I went ahead and pulled that. It does look more pink to me. Um, I did have a planning session. So I have this planner and script I pulled from two different I'm sorry if you can hear him foil bundles from Crest Press so that was fun and exciting and then I did do some editing so these are both from Scribble Prince Co like I really did the mixed metal look here actually and then I just binged um the ultimatum so I have this script, Netflix and Chill from Scribble Prince Co, as well as the Netflix logo from Caress Press. On to Tuesday, um, I worked literally all day. 
<sighs> okay, maybe I want to mark. Mm. Are there flags in this kit? There are. Maybe we could use a flag. I'm like into flags after um my last plan with me. It was really fun. I also, when I go in person, I usually work like all freaking day. Like this day I was out for 10 hours. So sometimes it's kind of nice to use a flag. Um, for work because it does take up way more space and I do spend quite a bit of time on, at work when I go see clients in person. Um, I was so freaking tired this day, literally, y'all. I could not even tell you. So freaking tired. So I marked that. And then I did get Starbucks because, well, like I said, I was tired. Um, so I'm going to mark that. And then we got Popeyes, which I'm sure was Jake's request. Not a big Popeyes gal. Um... He's like always like in the mood for a chicken sandwich. And he claims that Popeyes has really good chicken sandwiches. I'm not a big chicken person, but I was so mad this day because I ordered, I think it was this day. I mean, it probably was because I don't think we ordered Popeyes any other time this week. I ordered a two piece combo dark. This tar dark meat is like thousand times more tender and juicier and tastier and they literally gave me two piece white, which I don't eat white meat. Like it's so dry. It's so tasteless. I just, I can't eat that. So I just didn't eat. I ate some of Jake's chicken tenders. I think, let me use this for work from Paper Shower. I think um, they had a chicken tender deal and that's why we ordered this day. It was like $7 or something for chicken tender meal. Um, so I ate some of his chicken tenders, but I was not freaking eating that white meat. No, thank you. So I was very sleepy. I have this letters to Apollo script. Um, and then I did get Starbucks, which for Starbucks this week, I'm definitely just going to use my pink drink doodles because this spread is super pink so it will just work i have so many sheets of these i bought so many because if y'all don't know every time i go to starbucks like unless i say otherwise it's for a pink drink um so that's her once more with love and then i have a starbucks script in black from letters to apollo and then like i said we did get popeyes which i'm going to use this sticker even though they didn't give me my freaking drum legs i think this one will actually match um and these are from carly plans i think this color will match quite nicely we did not get a whole bucket of chicken but that's fine popeyes and then watch the ultimatum some more so I wanted to mark that. I literally don't know what's even happening anymore. Um, I'm gonna put that in a label. Um, let's do this pink for watching the ultimatum some more. And then we did go on a grocery run really late at night, which I don't even really remember, but I marked it, so it must have happened. Um, let's do this guy, I guess. I'm already running out of these little things. Love that for me. Late night grocery run, and then I did play with Oliver this day. Well, I, <laughs> that makes me sound really bad. I play with Oliver every day. Um, but I guess I'll put that in a little thing and put this guy here at the bottom. Okay, so what color do we have left? The pink. 
use one of these guys. Um, but I did just mark that. I don't think I had very much to mark this day based on what I marked, but that's fine. Sometimes I just got to fill up the day, you know? Also, when you work 10 hours a day, you don't really do much other stuff. So that was me this day. And these nails are the death of me. I literally hate them. Why do I still have them? Because they're pretty. Because now my bridal shower has passed, right? So why do I still have these nails? Because they're pretty. And I'm honestly scared to take them off because I don't know how that's going to go. So I'm just sucking it up till then. I have this Netflix bundle from Press Press. And then, like I said, we did get groceries, very late night grocery run. I think it was like almost midnight when we went. Why was I up that late? Who knows? <sighs> Probably why I'm tired all the time, but here we are. Those are both from Crest Press. And then I did play with Oliver. So let's pull out a sticker for that. Um, maybe I'll just use one of these. And then I have a Play With Ollie custom from Planet Hannah, which these fit a little thing so nicely, so I love that. And then I did just cuddle Jake. Um, so I wanted to mark that. Oh wait, I have these, the sampler I just randomly found. It looks like it's from Scribble Prince Go. Um, so I am going to pull from this because I do feel like the colors match. Let's do this one. Well, I feel like these colors could match a lot of spreads, which is why I love it so much. But um, I am going to use it here. And then obviously I can use the rest of it another time. I am going to cut off this time just because I feel like I don't want the scripts to overlay the um character sticker that is from scribble prince co very very cute that is my tuesday i feel like i'm flying by this on to wednesday um i did go to work again so let's do another flag for that flags are fun y'all flags are fun why not we'll do this guy And then I did get Starbs after work, probably because I was exhausted. Um, so let's just use this color because I haven't used this color yet. And then I did have therapy. So let's do this guy. And then I did just take Oliver to the dog park again. Ollie does go to the dog park every day. It's kind of just a matter of if I'm home or if Jake's home. Um, but he does go to the dog park every day. I just don't always get to market because sometimes I'm out. And so Jake takes him. But usually I do take him if I'm the one home or if I'm home. Um, so, yeah. Uh, adjust this a little these nails are so annoying i was literally watching my last plan with me just now and editing it the um what was it i think it was the february 2021 mystery the plan with me before this this guy and i was like struggling so hard it was so cringy but beauty is pain y'all beauty is pain okay Let's do another, um, where did I put those freaking paper shower stickers? Here they are. Let's just do this guy. So I feel like this matches for work. And then I do have a work script in gold this time instead of rose gold. And that is from Crest Press. And then, like I said, I did get some Starbies. So this from Once More With Love. And a Starbucks script from Letters to Apollo. 
super cute and then i did have therapy which it is online so i have this laptop from caress press and a therapy script from scribble prince co and then dog park um let's see need maybe one of these guys uh, we'll do this guy from once more with love i love once more with love's dog stickers they are forever like that whole collection she came out with forever my fave and then i have a dog park script from adorably amy designs perfect and then i feel like i'm flying by this on to um the next part of wednesday oh my god i had such bad allergies this day which i'm just gonna put in a little thing um i was dying i think i don't know if it's just our area but in general like everyone at least where i live is dying from allergies currently i don't have that bad seasonal allergies and i am very very allergic to dogs so i typically don't have um bad allergies because i already have to take a bunch of medication for my dog allergy even though my dog's hypoallergenic i'm still very allergic um and so my doctor was like well do you want to give up your dog or do you want to figure out what will work for you and I, they literally were like you need to give up having a dog and i was like my dog's hypoallergenic this was way before this was before i even had oliver this was when i had Maisie, and she was also hypoallergenic so anyways i'm just like not here for um my allergies and what do i want to mark this with i guess i have to use a little thing um i wonder if this guy will fit Um, so usually I don't get really bad seasonal allergies because I'm already on so much medicine, but y'all the weather and just like the pollen this year is freaking nuts. I'm dying over here, dying. Um, so yeah, that's been fun, but I did have to mark how bad my allergies were this day. I just ripped that. So I'm just going to put that back down because I don't have another label to use for that these nails y'all okay um so for allergies let's go in my six section i definitely have allergies maybe maybe i do i have bee stings which i am allergic to bees so <laughs> that's fun get stung by a bee i'm not like terrified of bees or anything i'm just like well if i get st it's not like awful for me like i can breathe and stuff here my allergies um but if I get stung, I do have to, like, go to the doctor and stuff. Anyways, bad allergies. So, I have that hay fever sticker from Once More With Love. And I'm just going to write that in. I actually thought I had COVID. I had kind of a little bit of a COVID scare. And so, I thought I had COVID. And it, it was just bad. So I took a COVID test this day, but it came out negative. And I'm pretty sure I don't have COVID still. Hopefully I don't. Um, and then we did meet up with my dad, Jake and I, to go to a... Um, none of these really look like it. Um, I'll just use one of these. To go to a Peking Duck restaurant by us, which I freaking love Peking Duck. It is so good, but you have to have it right from like the right place or it's just not good. Um, so we went to this fancy, fancy place that like all these presidents go to, all these diplomats, etc. Um, so it's like known to be good. 
I don't think my with dad script will fit there, so I'm just going to write it in because it's really big. Um, so we went to a Peking Duck restaurant and it was so freaking good. I was obsessed. Um, and then unfortunately, I don't have a script for this and the sticker is kind of sticking up, but hopefully it's fine. Afterwards, we did go to Walgreens because I'm pretty, so I'm pretty sure I got a butterfly stack. I don't even remember her name. Um, and then, which is like a Squishmallow thing, if y'all don't know. And then, um, I needed like melatonin and some other things. So we went to Walgreens after to pick that stuff up. The sticker sticking up is really bothering me. And then, of course, I just came home and watched more Ultimatum. So I just marked that with tv time that sticker sticking up is really annoying me okay on to thursday so i have quite a bit of extenders on the second half of this week if y'all can't tell so might get a little bit crazier um so thursday i slept in i was not feeling well this week um I think I'm gonna have to use a piece of washi for that. Actually, I could use one of these guys. No, let's just use a piece of washi. I'll make it easier. I'll do double. Here, wait, let's, okay. I've seen other people do this where you like just put it on top here and then you can't even tell that it's double. Oh God, first I have to line it up. Okay, so I have a pillow icon from Scribble Prince Co. So I'm gonna layer that and then a sleep in script from Carly Plans and then Watch this. When you lift it up, it's all one. How fun and dandy is that? Okay, so now we have that. Sleep in. And then I did get some Starbies this day. So let's do that with this guy. And then I got my eyebrows done. Um, Jake and I were running an errand at like at the indoor mall area that I get my eyebrows done. So I was like, LOL, I'm just gonna go get my eyebrows done quickly because my bridal shower was um, in two days. So I was like, kind of want those done. It wasn't like a requirement for me, but since I was right there, I was like, I'm gonna get my eyebrows done. Okay, so for Starbucks, I have these guys again from Once More With Love and another Starbucks script from Letters to Apollo. And then um, for getting my eyebrows done, I have this guy. We actually um, dropped off Oliver to get his haircut, which was like 30 minutes away. It was kind of annoying. Um, so when we came back, we did all these things and I did all these self-care things. Um, so we were just like running a bunch of errands this day and then I did end up doing a face mask I took a really long shower, which I never do because I think showers are like a waste of time Like <laughs> I probably sound disgusting saying that but I just like get so freaking bored in the shower And I just I don't know. I just I can't like I just Ruminate and it's like not healthy for me. So I don't really take long showers I mean, I wash my body like I need to and then that's it. Oh, we got to use one of these guys. Um, actually, there's no pink. Shoot. These are all very like, maybe I'll use one of these or one of these. Happy Daya. Um, so I ended up doing a face mask this day. I was like, I had like one bad pimple, but I was freaking out about it. Um, so I was like, 
trying to do every type of self-care possible to get rid of this pimple. It ended up like not being there really on um, Saturday on my bridal shower, but I was like low key freaking out. So I was like, I need to get rid of you pimple. So that's why I was doing all this face masks and stuff. And then Ollie did have his first, well, so he had a puppy cut, right? And then they were like, um, I don't know, mark this. I kind of want to put it in a big one of these guys unless I put it let's put it on one of these guys um uh, let's do this guy um so he like got a puppy cut last time because they said literally watch my air quotes he wasn't ready for a full haircut so we took him somewhere else and we were like, hi, we want his haircut. And they gave him a haircut and now he looks freaking adorable. Like he looked so cute before. He looked like a um, golden retriever more before. Now he looks more like a poodle, but like a cute poodle. Jake and I don't think poodles are that cute. Um, sorry if you have a poodle, but yeah. And our dog is half poodle. So is it really that offensive? Um... So anyways, he looks like a really cute poodle now and we're just like obsessed with him. And then everyone at the shower, like he got freaking showered with attention on Saturday at my bridal shower. Like everyone was obsessed with him. We actually felt bad for, um, I'm just going to use one of these for Mochi because she, my parents puppy, because she wasn't getting any attention. Everyone was like, his haircut and all this stuff. So it was a lot. Um... I have that from Paper Shire, and then I am gonna overlay this little haircut doodle, which I love doing this when I can, um, to mark his haircut. And then I have an Oliver script, and I'm just gonna write in haircut. And then I have this Oliver script from that's a custom from um. Santa Hannah. Look how cute that looks. Okay. And then I just marked that he looked freaking adorable. I literally, I was like, I don't like, I just, I could not imagine how he was going to look after his haircut. I just, I could not imagine it. And then he ended up looking so freaking cute. I was like dying. So I wanted to mark that because I was literally gushing over him. Um, let's do a label in between there. Do this guy. The colors of this kit kind of remind me of the Always kit that Scribble Prince Co. just came out with, the wedding kit. I just, like, got that in the mail, which is probably why I'm thinking of it. Um, but yeah, it's fun. Okay, where are those munchkins? I like how there's an angry munchkin on here. I feel like that would really work. Um, I'm just going to use this one for Ollie being freaking adorable. Ollie is so cute. And then we did go to Michael's, which this was just a quick run. I probably wouldn't have marked it, but I wanted to use um a double extender this day. So I went ahead and marked like a bunch of stuff. Um, I am going to just pull out for my artsy collection because all I did was pick up paint. I wanted or I want like a um, custom jean jacket and my dad's a really good painter. So I just bought I bought a jean jacket for cheap from like Marshall's. And then I bought the white paint he needs. And then I just like sent my dad some ideas on um, Pinterest. I literally did this today. And um, basically was just like, this is what I want. So he's going to paint me my own custom jean jacket to wear when we're leaving the wedding reception at like midnight on the night of our wedding. Um because I think that'll be cute and I always forget if Michaels has an A or an E first um 
I think that'll look really cute and it'll be like custom. So it'll be like my own personal. So I got paint for that to give to my dad. And then I did just have some planning time. I think I'm going to put that in a bigger box too. Um, I can find my bigger boxes. There they are. Okay, let's do this orange one. So I came home and then I just did some planning. So I wanted to mark that with a caress press doodle and a Randy dot plan script. I think it's super cute. You guys even see, I don't know. Um, and then I just watched more ultimatum. So maybe we can do a quarter box for that because I haven't used any quarter boxes. Let's do this guy. And then we did just get McDonald's for dinner this night. Um, so I need, I'm like running out of these little things. Let's just do this guy for McDonald's. Okay. Um, so for binging the ultimatum again, I don't even know when I freaking finished the show. I think I finished it this night. Oh no, I finished it Saturday. Oh my God. I don't know why it took me so long to watch the show. I think I was only watching like one episode at a time because I don't have that much time at night to watch. Um, because I am kind of busy now. I feel like I should, do I not have a Netflix script I can bring in? Um, the ultimatum. I don't, I always don't know if I spelled that word right. And then I did get McDonald's for dinner. Okay. On to Friday. Um, I did sleep in again, so let's do that same washi trick just because I'm running out of little things and it makes life a little easier. Um, maybe we'll do the balloons. I feel like the balloons are really fun. Oh, I have the same pink pillow. And the sleep in script from Carly Plans. And I'm just going to pick this bad boy up. And put it in here. Cute. It's a little crooked. I think the box is actually crooked. Not my thing. But it is what it is. Um, I did pack. So let's just put that in a little thing. Let's do this color. And then I got some Starbies. So we'll do this guy. And then I drove back to my parents' house. Uh, my sister came in town and her boyfriend was there and my best friend was in town. Like everyone obviously was in town for my shower. So I wanted to see everyone. I'm going to use this, which this is the last big label I have, which is crazy. I used all of those because I feel like I don't usually, but it's fine. Um. So yeah, everyone was in town. So I wanted to go home and see everyone. So for packing, let's pull from my travel section. Let's use one of these. I love these from Carly Plans. I thought these were too cute. This color is just like screaming to me to use with the spread. It's like a little ruffle duffle, which is just also like the funniest word ever. Um, ruffle duffle. <laughs> Anyways, um, did that. And I have a pack script from Carly Plans. And then, like I said, I did get some Starbies on my way home. So I have this pink drink doodle 
from Once More With Love and a Starbucks script from Letters to Apollo. And then I did go to my parents' house. So I just have this house icon from Scribble Prince Co. And a mom and dad's custom from Adorably Amy Designs to mark when I go back to my parents' house. On to the next part. I just hung out with one of my bestie pals. She came over and we hung out. She hung out with me the whole night. And then I did have my final dress fitting. Um, so let's put that in like a fun box. Let's do this balloon. I just love this balloon box. We did have my sister. I think it was my sister um, made me like a really beautiful balloon garland. It's in all my pictures. If you guys saw my pictures on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I was obsessed. I've always wanted a balloon garland and I finally had one and I was like, oh my God, it's beautiful. Um, so yeah, I was kind of obsessed with that. But then I also just hung out with one of my bestie pals. Um, will this guy fit? Yeah. Okay, so let me see if there's a sticker here. Um, let's do this guy. This reminds me of us. I literally love her so much. Um, so I'm just gonna write in time with Holly. And then I did have my freaking final dress fitting, which I do need to pull out quite a bit of wedding stickers for this week is there a f uh oh there's dress fitting but not final dress fitting yeah so I had all my alterations and I only had like one alterations I don't know if that's normal or not I don't know anything that's normal or not with this whole wedding thing I'm like the first one out of all my friends getting married um none of my siblings have like really gotten married the traditional way the way I am and I think there's a paper shire sheet that has dresses. Um, so everything is like brand new to me, my friends, everything. I'll do this guy. Um, so I'm just like, I think this is what you're supposed to do, but I don't know. My mom does know everything kind of, it feels like. So that's kind of nice. But yeah, this was my final dress fitting. My dress, um, I had to get it a little bigger because I have ginormous boobs. <laughs> If you didn't know, um, which I don't know why you would know that. So it was really big on the rest of my body, except my boobs. So it was all like fitted. It fit like a freaking glove and it just looks so much freaking better this day. And I like almost got emotional. I haven't gotten emotional yet. I'm not really like a happy emotional person. That's just not me. Um, but this day I like almost got emotional. So I was like, yeah, I don't know. It was fun. And then we did just have some family time. My bestie was also over um, for dinner. And then for dinner, we had sushi from a fave place that's local to my parents that like we're all obsessed with. So I had to definitely mark that. And then my friend Hallie and I, we did get crumble for my family um to bring back after the dress fitting because um the store was right by a crumble and she only gets crumble with me really because she doesn't really have it where she is or I don't know if she does but anyways we got crumble they had the lemon curd cookie this week which was screaming my name I wish I got like 50 oh so good um but yeah and also the carrot cake was surprisingly good, which I'm not a big carrot cake person. So that was fun. Um, so for family time, we just hung out with, well, I hung out with my best friend, hung out with uh, my parents, with Jake, my sister and her boyfriend. I think that was everyone. Um, maybe we'll just use one of these generic guys because I have, there was like so many people here and we all kind of fall into looking like this category except for my sister or sorry my sister's boyfriend and Jake don't really look Asian but that's fine um the rest of us do so I have this family time from Crest Press that's a Teddy Plans Co sticker 
And then um, we did get Yoyogi, which is the place of the amazing sushi we love. So I need to pull from my Asian section. I definitely, I, I used to get, it really does make me sad because I used to get sushi all the freaking time. I'm going to use, actually, this one's really cute. This orange really matches, and I love salmon rolls. Um, or salmon nigiri, I guess, is what this is. Um, I used to get sushi all the time, and I will, because sushi is my favorite thing. But I will not get it if it's not good. And there's really no good sushi by me in Virginia anymore. There, We have to go over the bridge to DC to get good sushi. And like the traffic over the bridge sometimes is literally hell. So it's just not always worth it. So I have yet to find a really good sushi place closer to me in Virginia. So until then, it's going into DC or going to my parents' house. I'm going to use this really cute sprinkled cookie from Scribble Prince Co. There's like only one pink one left for Mark and Crumble. Um, I'm sorry, guys. My stomach hurts so bad. I'm not feeling good. I'm on this new medicine for my PCOS. And y'all, it's it's awful. Um, Let's just say, if I don't take it with my food, I literally will be sick forever because... It's just not, it's not a fun medicine. Not a fun medicine to be on. Um, okay. I'm going, no, I just used a Teddy Plans Co. sticker. And then I just marked that I played with Mochi and Ollie. I was at my parents' house, so Mochi was there. My parents' puppy, Mochi. And Oliver, I'm going to use one of these. I need her to release more of these. They're, like, not in her shop anymore, and these are my favorite stickers ever. Oliver's obsessed with Mochi, but Mochi, not really obsessed with Oliver. She doesn't like dogs bigger than him, and he kind of grew really fast out of nowhere, so she kind of he kind of terrifies her now, Um, which I don't know why, because he's the nicest dog you could ever meet, but I played with them, kind of, <laughs> on to Saturday, which was the day of my bridal shower. Um... So first, I got glam. I did a lot this day, but I didn't write any of it till after, and I couldn't remember anything. So that's why there's no extender. There's extender on every day except my shower. Isn't that funny? Um, but also, I was, like, doing my shower stuff all day, so what could I have marked, you know? Anyways, um, I think... I want to put my bridal shower in like a balloon box. So I guess we'll use this guy. And then I guess I need a little thing. I'm like profusely sweating. I'm like actually kind of concerned that I like have a fever or something. I don't know, I'm not feeling good. Um, Definitely want to use these balloon box because my bridesmaids came through and made me an amazing balloon, balloon garland thingy. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with those, but I am. Um, let's see if this guy will fit. Yeah, okay. So first things first, my bestie pal did my makeup. She's really good at makeup, so I did look really good this day. I'm not going to lie, but it was all thanks to her. Um, sorry, I'm trying to get this in. Okay, so let me see. Do I have a makeup? I have a glam section, I'm pretty sure. Um, glam, okay. So let's see what we can pull out for her doing my makeup. Maybe like this girl from Stick With The Plan Co. would be cute. Um, put that in. So I did just mark that I got glam. I also curled my hair. I like asked my bridesmaids if anyone could curl my hair and no one wanted to. I think I would have done the best at it out of everyone anyway. So it turned out fine. Um, so I did get glam and then it was my bridal shower. Um, which I literally don't know what I want to use for that. I think I'm going to use one of these girls because she's kind of wearing white. I was obviously wearing white. 
Um, I had a really cute bride sticker from Teddy Plans Co. that I used for International Women's Day and didn't even realize it was a freaking bride. I was really mad. Um, but I have that. And then I do have a bridal shower script. I can't believe I had my bridal shower. It feels like it was a dream. Um, from Scribble Prince Co. My bridal shower was so nice. I had so many friends and family showering me with not only gifts, but love and support. And I'm so thankful. I'm like writing the thank you notes now. It's only a few days after. Um, but it was really, really fun. My friends all came and so many family there and like it was just it was really nice it was literally perfect so I was very happy about that and then we did just take a bunch of photos I just marked that because I took so many photos this day um because I love taking photos and then I just marked that I opened gifts which is kind of obvious with the bridal shower is it not <sighs> But I guess we'll mark it anyway. Let me see how much room I have, actually. Let's put this last thing um, at the bottom, which I did finally finish Ultimatum this day. So I wanted to mark that. And then I did hang with one of my friends. She came over. So I think I'll just put that in a label, too. And I'll put the rest of the things. And then we did have, um, we actually had a pretty big family dinner. Like everyone was over that was in town pretty much from my mom's side of the family. Um, for dinner, we, we ended, so my bridal shower was at my parents' house. Wait, do, do, okay. Um, and then we just extended the party and had our whole family over for Thai food as an early Easter celebration. I don't really celebrate Easter, um, but my my some of my cousins do, so they wanted to celebrate with us because we traditionally do all celebrate together, um, and Easter was the next day, if you didn't know, so... We had a early Easter dinner this day, which I don't think we were allowed to call it Easter because it technically wasn't Easter. I don't know. My uncle's like Catholic and yeah. So anyways, we had a bunch of family over. It was actually quite the event. We even had like our neighbors over. It was a lot. And then we went home after, picked up my friend in Virginia, who she also came to my bridal shower, but she had already gone home at this point. And I hung out with her. And then after she went home, I um, binged the ultimatum. So for opening gifts, I'm just going to use one of these from the celebration sheet I have. I need like bridal shower stickers, but that's fine. And then obviously I opened gifts which was very, very fun, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then for family time, I kind of just want to use one of these. Let's do um, this Happy Munchkin from Scribble Prince Co. And I do have a family time script from Cross Press. And I did just hang out with my bestie, so I have this heart for her. Um, hang with raw and then um I did just finish the ultimatum this day which was a freaking weird show I'm not even gonna go into it I feel like a lot of people I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it um I mean I'll obviously watch any show like that again because I love trash tv but I just don't understand why you'd ever put yourself on that, one of those shows. And unless you want to get famous, which is fine. It's just not as good TV, you know? Um, like, I'm not judging you. It's just like, why? Because you're not giving me good TV then. Um, so that was my bridal shower day. Again, a lot happened that day. A lot that I just didn't mark. But in general, bridal shower 
happened. It was a great time. Very thankful for all the lovely ladies who showed up and support me and love me and are coming to my wedding. And it's just going to be an amazing time. On to Sunday. Sunday was so long. I literally have four boxes, but I do kind of spread it out a little. Um, so first I am going to mark that it was Easter, which I think I'm going to put in a square box because I have the space. I kind of extended these plans out more than I probably needed to, but it's fine. So Easter, and then I was so tired. I literally, y'all, I, I just like did not realize how tired I was from the bridal shower. Like it took out all my energy, just all that socializing <laughs> and stuff was tiring. So have that. And then um, Jake did make me breakfast this day. What was that noise? Oh my God. Ollie is like, gr also sorry if you heard my email, but Ollie is like growling in his sleep. <laughs> Can you hear that? It's so cute. Oh my God. Um, See, I'm going to need little things for the next thing. So maybe, I don't know what will fit there. Maybe I shouldn't do this combo. A little label fit there. I feel like I've actually been doing pretty well. I think I can move it up a little. I can move both of these up and it should actually fit. Let's put this down first. Um, Jake did make me breakfast this day, which was really, really nice. I like woke up and he was like, what do you want for breakfast? I was like, I don't know. And he was like, well, we only have like a few things. So I'll just make you something. So he made me ha um, a hash brown and bacon and fried eggs, which I've never had fried eggs. I'm not a big egg person, but oh my God, they were good. I was like very impressed, so was fun it was nice to have breakfast cooked by my fiance okay so for Easter again did not really celebrate Easter except for the fact that where's my holiday section um where is my holiday section are you joking there it is um except for the fact that I took a bunch of pictures of Ollie because I did have an Easter squishmallow so I was like well I might as well take his pictures um so I took his pictures for that reason but other than that did nothing for Easter this year which I usually do do stuff for Easter but then I realized like I'm not like Christian so why am I doing stuff for Easter um and I have one Easter sticker left. Okay, let's use one of these. Let's do the Easter egg. Um, and then I need one for the sidebar. I kind of just want to use up this sheet, to be honest, even though it doesn't match perfectly. So I'm going to do one on the sidebar because I do mark... <laughs> I just put that trash back in there. I do want to mark that it was Easter on the sidebar because I have nothing else to mark. So here we are. Let's just do this one here. And I do have an Easter script from Scribble Prince Co. Cute. And then I was very tired this day. Again, just like didn't realize how much energy it is to socialize now, I guess. So I have that sleeping mask from Scribble Prince Co. and a Tired AF script from Letters to Apollo. And then Chef Jake did make me breakfast. So I have a breakfast section here I can pull from. Um, he did not make me any of these things. Oh, this would be cute. Um, hmm. This looks like this mostly resembles my breakfast, but I don't like the purple on the bottom. I know I'm like super freaking particular, um, but I think I might use it actually because I have nothing else. Oh, we could use one of these egg toasties. 
so yeah, Jake made me breakfast. Um, so I have a Chef Jake custom from Planahana, which I like marking. Um, when Jake chefs up a good meal, he is quite a good cook. So I like to mark that. And then on to the next part, I did unpack and tidy up the whole nine yards. Um, I'm going to use this last little thing, which is a little ripped, but I don't think you'll be able to tell because um, I'm going to put a sticker over it. It's just not cut right. Let me cut this. Oh no, I got it. Okay. So I'm putting this down. I know it looks a little whack. It's also the same color as the header, but here we are. Here we are. Okay, so unpacked. And then LOL, guess what happened to us this day? We each got a flat tire. Jake actually took my car during the bridal shower, got me a flat tire, and then I had another, I had two flat tires this day, and Jake had a flat tire. Y'all, I don't, I don't freaking know. I don't know how that happens. Um, I'm like really out of little things. So let's put that in a label that I got a freaking flat tire. <sighs> um, we drove to the grocery store and something sounded weird on Jake's car and then it was completely flat. So we went home um and then oh, i don't know why we looked at my car for some reason and they it also had a flat tire and i was like are you freaking kidding me right now okay i have this one last little thing i'm gonna use now i would say petition to put more little things in cross press kits but she already did that so it's all good um <laughs> I did get Smoothie King, and then I took Ollie to the dog park. So I'm just going to put that in a label. I usually put that in a little thing, but I ran out of little things, y'all. Um, but yeah, I don't even know how we both had a flat tire. I was like, did someone in our garage, because we do have like a garage where we park um, because we live in an apartment. I was like, did someone in our garage like slash our tires? I was very, very confused. I still am very confused. Uh, yeah, I don't really know how that happened, but I think I'm gonna pull one of these from Carly Plans. Actually, I have a different, where did that section just go? I have um this one, which may match better, yeah. For unpacking, this su suitcase is from Carly Plans. It's very cute. And I have an unpack script also from her. And then I guess I should just pull out that car section because then we got flat tires. Which I need a car sticker to mark. I think I'll just use this bow car. I don't, I definitely don't have. Oh no, that's gas. Okay. I was like, if that's, we did end up going to the gas station to put air in our tires. I don't even know. I was like, so our whole 10 year relationship has come down to this moment because I'm sitting here with a flat tire. No idea what I'm supposed to do. Last time I got a flat tire was in like high school and my mom handled it for me. So We each had a freaking flat tire. Again, no idea how that happens, but it happened. And then for Smoothie King, I have this smoothie sticker from um, Sticky Sauce Designs, I think. And this smoothie script from Randy.Plans to mark that. I love going to Smoothie King. The guy um, who works at our Smoothie King that we frequent knows my order. And this day I was like, he was like Caribbean way. And I was like, yes, um, make it a small, please. And he was like, small? I was like, fine, make it a medium. And then I drank the whole thing. So, you know, that's fun. Anyways, let's do this sticker for the dog park. I was actually at the dog park for like two hours this day, if I'm remembering correctly. So 
good thing I'm putting it in a label. And then I have a dog park custom from Adorably Amy Designs. And then on to the next part. Um, oh my god, I have so I'm not gonna be able to mark this. Um I'm gonna take out this first thing. The first thing I marked was that we had a bunch of new appliances. So we had both a rice cooker that was like super bougie and um what else did we have a new air fryer toaster the like cuisine art one that everyone has we got one of those um each for either the shower or the wedding idk the person did not specify the people did not specify um but yeah, so I was going to mark that we had a bunch of new appliances this day, but since I don't have enough little things, it's just not going to work for me to mark all that. So I'm just putting in that I first did laundry and then we did have um, home slice for dinner, which was really good. Let's put that in this guy. And then I did bake cookies this day. I had Easter cookies sitting in our fridge um, that I've been waiting to bake. And my friend came over this day when I cooked it. Um, she came over again. Um, but those Easter cookies were so good. So again, that was like the extent of my Easter celebrating. I did make Easter cookies that were already pre-made and I just literally put pop them in the oven but they were really freaking good we still have some so yeah laundry stuff is from scribble prince co and i just put that down crooked but oh well home slice i have this pizza icon which is kind of small i was gonna put this in a little thing but that's fine it fits cute and i'm just gonna write that in home slice and then what did I say? Oh, I baked cookies. Um, so I do have a baking section here. Again, not, not much went into this. Are these cupcakes or cookies? Because right now they're looking like cookies to me. So I'm using these. Mm. From Scribble Prince Co. Oh, this is... Oh, no, it's not my last thing. I still have bunch more okay and so I did bake those cookies and then I did hang out with my best friend again this was literally like two nights ago for me now and then we did have a movie night where Jay picked the movie and he picked um what was it called hall pass which has like Pam from the office um it had Jason Sudeikis, who was an ass in that movie. And I was just mind blown because like I last I saw him was um, Ted Lasso. And I was like, how, how did you, how were you even paid to say some of the stuff they said? Like, it was so cringy, that movie. Oh my God. I was just like mind blown. And so Jake is like, yeah, I'm never picking a movie again because I kept giving him crap. But I was just like, how? How is this movie, like, ever released? I mean, I know it's, like, outdated and stuff, but it was in, like, 2011, I think. And I was just like, how did these people ever say any of this stuff? It was bad. Um, But, yeah. So, we had a movie night, and we watched Hall Pass is what it's called. Don't recommend it at all super outdated I didn't even find any of the stuff really that funny because it was just like that kind of outdated where it's just like not even appropriate anymore in my opinion so yeah um I'm just marking that as a movie night and not marking the movie because I would rather not remember watching that movie but yeah we just hung out with my friend and did that it was a super chill day but busy Easter okay this is how the spread is looking like in full. I'm going to pop this paper shire girl in um, from the Celebrate to mark that it was my bridal shower. And this emoji from Coffee Monsters Co. in the egg to mark that it was Easter, even though 
Easter did not play a bit, very big role in my life this year. Um, so I have this bridal shower script in gold because I used the rose gold one over here. So I still have the gold one and you only have a bridal shower once. And then I have this Easter script in rose gold to mark Easter. I used the gold one here, even though I have like a billion holiday scripts. Okay, so I'm going to put these deco bits in, I think. Um, oh my God, from... The Cross Press Foil Bundle. I did use quite a bit of this um, Celebrate Foil Bundle. Or I don't know what. Yeah, Celebrate. Um, I'm putting the balloons on like the big areas. Um, I did use quite a bit of this. So I might buy another just because, I don't know. I thought this bundle was actually really, really fun. I really liked it. So yeah, we'll see. Um, but I'm just using these gold deco pieces throughout. And yeah, I really, really like how this came out. I think this is like a perfect representation of my bridal shower. Like to a freaking T. All pink, lots of balloons, cake, pink dresses. Um, I don't know presents all that stuff super girly so yeah I do feel like this just like matched my bridal shower vibes to a t it could not have been more perfect like it was literally this kit in real life like it was it's amazing so yeah I really had an amazing bridal shower none of um, the people who helped put it together are even watching this but if you are Thank you. I love you so freaking much. Um, and I'm just really excited to get married, which it's next month and in less than 40 days now, which is craziness. Um, but yeah, my wedding is fastly approaching. My bachelorette party is done. My bridal shower is done. Jake's bachelor party is done. And now all we have is a wedding, which is crazy. It's literally going to be here before we know it. So I'm very excited about that. But I love how this kit turned out. I think this is so fun for marking my bridal shower. Again, you hopefully only have a bridal shower once. So you had to go all out for it, you know. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I like the rose and the gold. I had no idea what I was going to use for this kit. But I actually do think this turned out quite nicely. Um, I'm just trying to decide where to put this very last piece of deco right there. Okay, so let's pop this guy back into my planner. I'm obsessed with this. I also made sure to put this girl with the white dress on my bridal shower day because that was literally me. Um, so yeah. Oh my God. Okay. April... This turned out so cute. I'm so glad I used that foil bundle. I know I didn't pull it out originally in my um, April monthly foil kit and lineup, but I do think this Celebrate looks so freaking good with this. All right, let me show you guys my leftovers. I'm just going to show you the kit leftovers because my foil is like all sorts of whack. I forgot to use this as always. And I do have quite a bit left over in this kit. So whoever gets these leftovers will be very lucky. Um, I have the this girl extra. I have this with this extra box. All the date covers, all that stuff. Literally only use the movie marquee from this page. I used quite a bit of this, especially the balloons. Because y'all, all I wanted was a balloon garland. And I got it. And it looked amazing. And I just really liked this balloon pattern. Used all the little things. I used all these labels really fast, which really surprised me. Um, I did not use as much on this page. And yeah, that's it for this plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm loving how this turned out so freaking much. Totally matches my bridal shower vibes. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. Make sure to follow me on my planner Instagram at Laura Marie Plans if you have not already. And I'll see you on my next video.